Welcome back to class. Remember in the previous class we had the four LEDs and we made them to blink. Now in this class we want to increase the LEDs to 8 and then we'll use the old method to write the code to make the 8 LEDs to blink. Then I'll show you how to use the for loop to even write smarter codes. And with the for loop we'll make the LEDs to blink back and forth. And with the for loop we can also change the sequence and begin to do other fun things. So let's begin. I have additional four LEDs and additional four resistors and additional four jumper wires. So let's start. I recommend you watch the previous video so you continue with us from where we stopped. This is the ground. This is the negative and we connect the negative to the ground and then we add our resistors. We programmed up to pin 10. We want to continue with pin 9. So we fix this one at pin 9. So you can see that this is pin 9 that I'm working with. So the next one is the yellow pin. And we'll add the resistor. And we'll take the jumper wire and connect it to pin number 8. The next one is the green. Connect the resistor. And then we use the jumper wire. And then we connect this to pin 7. Connect to pin 7 and finally we have the blue we fix the resistor and we connect it to pin 6. We have a simple connection. So the next thing is we connect it to a laptop and then upload the code. So continue from our previous code. We want to update this particular project, so I receive it LED chaser. In the previous code, we had red pin, the yellow pin, the green pin, the blue pin on 13, 12, 11, and 10. And we set the daytime and we set the pin mode and we determine which pin should come on and which pin should go off. So we go to the variable section and we simply add the new pins now we have red pin 2 and red pin 2 is on 9 and we have yellow pin 2 yellow pin 2 is on 8 and we have green pin 2 and that is on 7 and finally we have blue pin 2 and that is on 6 the delay time remains the same. To make our work faster, I'll just copy and paste this since we have the same pin. Copy it and I come here and I paste it and I change them to this is pin 2, red pin 2, yellow pin 2, green pin 2 and blue pin number 2. Same thing too with the code. We can make the code very easy and very fast. Now instead of having 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll have 8 lines of code. Later, I'll show you how to use the for loop to do this thing repeatedly using just one line of code. Let's start. So instead of having four, now we have eight pins. So same way, I select this, I copy, and I paste the line of code. So I have only the red pin should be high. The other pins should all be low. I will really suggest you watch the previous video so you understand how we got to this point. To save time, we have explained this already. But the idea is when the red pin is on, the other pins are all turned off. So we come to this part too and I do the same thing. I copy all this and we paste here and we change this to low and we'll add two to all this so this simply means when the yellow pin is on the other pins should be turned off and we come to the green pin section we copy this and we paste and we want only the green pin to be on and this other one should be off yes and we have the fourth one remember we said we have eight lines of code this is the first four and when this one is it 
So we have two, 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 two. Okay, so this is where we start. Turn the red pin on. This is one. Turn the yellow pin on. This is two. Turn the green pin. Turn the blue pin. Now the next one, I want to turn this red pin two on. So I copy this and I paste here. So I change this to, I want to turn red pin two to on. So I change everybody to low and red pin two to be high. Okay, so I copy this. And I paste down here. One, make the yellow pin two to be on. And this to low. And I set this to high. Copy this. Now we want to make green pin 2 to be high, so we turn all this to low and we set green pin to be high. I copy this and I paste here, we want to do this for the blue pin. And we'll set this to be low and set the blue pin to be high. Okay, so we have done this. If we go through the code, first we created a variable and assign the pin numbers to these variables. Then we set the delay time, the integer to help us control how fast or how slow the LEDs will blink. And then we set the pin mode for all the pins. Since we have um, eight pins, we turn on and off the pins eight times repeatedly. Let's connect our Duno to the system and upload the code and see how this works. They are all blinking. So congratulations, 